some old gardening supplies. Hey you, what you looking at? V plus M. Violet and Minerva. What does that mean? It means that they were a couple. What? Violet was Minnie's girlfriend. Oh. Love. Huh. This is cool. Edgy. Cool. Ready to get some fish? Yeah. Okay, let's go. <laughs> Can I join you? Sure. Hey, check out these guys over here. They're swimming against the current. Guess I don't realize it makes them easier targets. I want to try. Take a spear. Go nuts. Go ahead and try. They're not running. <clears throat> Any luck? I got something. Good enough for me. Hey, um, sorry if I was weird last night, about the whole room thing. Seeing someone else in there, uh, it was harder than I expected. You'd think I'd be less sentimental by now. <laughs> uh, I'm sorry, we weren't trying to upset you. No, no, it's okay. Seriously, it's kind of nice having someone in there again. Okay. God. Sometimes she just gets on my last nerve. You know? Yeah, I can tell. I mean, it's it's not like I hate her. I just... <clears throat> I wish we could all go on a road trip together. God, she's so... Oh, you know? She definitely thinks you hate her. Looks like they wisened up. Maybe Brody had better luck with the traps. I got one! Clem, I got one! <laughs> Good job. <laughs> I don't know what the problem is between us. With Brody. I don't know why it's like this. Why is it so weird? I can never relax around her. It just keeps getting worse. Maybe because she never said sorry about Sophie and Minnie and not being able to save them. Did she tell you that? Hmm, more or less. She wants to talk about it, you know. I just... I feel guilty about the whole thing. Why? I was supposed to be out with the twins that day. I wanted to work in the greenhouse, so I asked Brody to cover for me. But then... I didn't even get to say goodbye. I... I wanted to talk to Brody. To tell her I didn't blame her for what happened, but every time I tried, I was reminded of who we lost. It was easier to just not talk about it. We should get going. You guys catch any fish? We caught some, but not a lot. I didn't get anything. 
We should catch up with Lewis and Asim, see if they had any better luck. The Grand Canyon. What? That's where I'd go. If we took a road trip, start driving until we hit the Grand Canyon. Yeah, that would be cool. Thanks. Hey, you slow folks coming? Yeah, we're right behind you. Where are those guys? Practicing making out with a toothless walker. Gross. I know. Poor walker. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? What? This isn't normal? Someone sabotaged this. This isn't good. A Sam? Lewis! Spread out. See if we can find them. Watch out for monsters. Empty. Huh. Is this a Bible page? Clem, found something. Over here! Well, we didn't kill this one. We wouldn't have left it hanging in our trap. What the hell? Found this too. Do any of the kids smoke? Nope. Nothing to smoke. Who is this unlucky fella? Where have you been? Checking nearby traps. The ones that were sprung were all empty. All the rest are broken. Someone robbed us? Oh, great. And now we're gonna starve. Fuck, that's... Fuck. Fuck. It's just... Fuck, it's okay. It's... Breathe, Brody. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. You're gonna be fine. It's just a panic attack. Take a second. Breathe in deep. And hold it. Just shut the fuck up, okay? Excuse me? I, I have to tell Marlon about this. Um, we still need food. You know, to live. We definitely don't have enough here. You guys figure it out. I'll take this hall back to school. And maybe we can ration out something. So what do we do? Eat rocks? You can't eat rocks. I'm aware. Will Marlin kick us out if we don't find food? Well, let's not find out. Where else could we look? <sighs> Let me think. The train station. It's not too far from here. Maybe, but it's outside the safe zone. There was food in there when AJ and I passed through. It's worth a look. You sure there was food? Positive. Yeah, some of it was destroyed in the explosion, but there has to be something left. There was so much there. Or we could starve. Fine. Let's go. There. That's where the food is. A lot more walkers than last time, though. We're gonna die. It's either die here or die from hunger. Take your pick. Clem, maybe you should scope things out. 
You know the place better. Let me get a closer look. Can't be too careful. We barely got out of here. It was close. Sounds scary. There's a reason. I need to get in there somehow. Maybe there's another way in. Climb up there, but I don't know how that would get us inside. That bell might be able to get the walkers' attention. They do like to follow sound. You look like you've got an idea. The noise from that bell could draw a lot of walkers. If one of us climbs up there and starts ringing it, Lewis, I vote Lewis. Uh, hold on. I'd like to make an alternate suggestion. Come on, Lou. You're loud, dramatic, a little annoying. You're basically a walking distraction. I think you mean charming and theatrical. Entertaining is another word that comes to mind. Charismatic. Okay, Prince Charming. Let's see those talents in action. I can't say no to a face like that. I'll go with you. Give you some cover. Fine. I'll do it. But if I die, I'm making sure Walker Lewis eats both of you first. I'll distract them until I see you guys reach safe cover. Then, I'll try to redirect the smelly patrol to give you guys a chance to sprint inside the building. When we get into position, I'll signal you. Then you can do your thing. Good luck! Hey, ugly! No, not you. Not you either. Can't. Fine, make this confusing right now, dude. Hey, look! Got your nose! Got your nose! I'm just fucking with you. You have no nose! There's a rotten hole in your face. Alright, someone get this car. Ready? know when we're ready. See if it works. Gonna need your help on this one, kiddo. You still got your gun? Just in case. Just in case.
Good job, AJ. Is there more? Keep it coming. Stand, slowly. Don't yell, don't try anything. I won't hurt you. If I don't have to. Do not fuck with me. I'm not here to fuck with you. I'm here to get some food, same as you. Your friends made a lot of noise out there. It wasn't hard to follow. You live close by? You knew about this place already and organized some effort to get inside. So you probably also knew the stash was there. Just passing through. Decided to see what we could scavenge. Uh-huh. And you just got extra lucky. Young to be out on your own. You got a group. I count you plus the two outside. I'm thinking maybe more. Tell me about your group first. <laughs> uh, I miss the days when we were all so goddamn cagey. It's just me and my ugly face out here. Lonely, ugly, and hungry. Now, I'm gonna fill this pack real slow. We worked hard to get this stuff. Hey there, squirt. Playing hide and seek, are we? Now that's impolite. Don't steal from us. I'm not stealing. This isn't yours. I can kill you, you know. Come on, kid. I'm faster than you. Listen up, squirt. You're gonna quit pointing that gun at me and let me go my merry. You understand? I'm just gonna take a little bit, then I'm leaving. Like it never happened. AJ, lower the gun. Clem, he's stealing our food. Alvin Jr., now! Wise woman. Clem, we're running out of time. We need to get out of here. Don't panic. I was just leaving. for dinner. Who in the fuck was that? Just take a bag and fill it up. To me, Marlon, listen to me. I am telling you, the place was ransacked. It's fine. We'll deal with it. Took y'all a while. How poor are they that have not patience? A Sam! Mitch! Check it out! Food! That's like a lot of food. Observant as ever, Mitch. I can't believe this. Look at it. You're our savior, Clem. Like, seriously, it's a lot. 
Lewis and Violet helped too. Neither of them ever brought back this much before. And neither have you. Where did you find all this? The old train station. Clem knew where it was. Train station? That's outside the safe zone. We'd have even more, but we ran into the creep that fucked up our rabbit traps. Creep? What creep? Clem saw him smoking those nasty-ass Bible cigarettes. He had weird, different colored eyes. Did he follow you? No, I let him have some food and then we lost track of him in a swarm of walkers. You just let him take our food? What the fuck? Now he knows we're out here and he'll come back for more. What the hell were you thinking? This is fucked. How could you be so stupid? If I hadn't done what I did, he would have shot us. I made the right call. Bullshit! What if there are others? You don't know what people are capable of out there. Think again. I just... I can't. I won't. Just... not again. Fuck! What the hell's going on here? She took them outside the safe zone. They saw someone. You know what that means! Enough! It just means there's a hungry guy out there looking for food. It's happened before. You are overreacting. You can't be serious! Come on, let's go somewhere and talk about this. If anything happens, I'm holding you responsible. Clem. I know I asked you for help. You did. You did. But... Shit. God. Nothing's easy. Sorry I went outside the safe zone. I didn't see any other option. Yeah, I know. It's just hard keeping this together. <laughs> well, at least we're eating tonight. For the next few, I'd wager. Um, I'll go talk to Brody. Thanks for the haul, Clem. You guys should go enjoy it. You've earned it. Don't sweat it, Clem. Ever since we lost Sophie and Minnie, Gertie's been freaked out by anything that happens past the safe zone. She'll be all right eventually. Still, we should make sure this is a one-time thing. We can take Rosie out in the morning, see if she catches a scent. You know, just in case. I'm gonna go clean up. I think I'll go too. See you later. Don't worry about them. They're just sad. Sad? Why? My sisters died around this time last year. I think it's starting to get to people. Doesn't it get to you? Not really. Dying's not scary. I mean, it's sad, but not scary. You've been in here too long. When you see more death, you'll be a lot more afraid of it. Or maybe a lot less. I try not to focus on them being gone. I like picturing where they'd be now, instead. Sophie was awesome at making stuff. She'd build a place big enough for all of us to live. And paint it too. And Minnie'd be playing whatever new song she wrote. I guess death doesn't scare me because I know I have something waiting on the other side. Someplace safe and happy. All of us together. Looks like a nice place to wind up. Yeah, I think so too. A lot better than some smelly old school. Who are those guys? The walkers who killed them. You want them there too? They weren't always walkers. Wherever this place is, everyone gets to be a person again. 
Sometimes I draw the walkers the way they probably looked. Sometimes I draw Minnie and Sophie the way they probably left them. But sometimes I draw this too. Can, can I be there? Sure. You want to be there too? I promise I'll draw you well. You just gotta hold still. Sure, why not? Oh, I almost forgot. Here you go. It's yours. It's ours. It's getting late. Yeah, you guys should get some sleep. Aren't you coming? Not yet. I want to finish this first. Good night. See you tomorrow. Time for bed, little guy. Can I stay up? Nope. Two more minutes. Tell you what, you lay down, and then we'll see. <laughs> you got in bed, by yourself. I like it here. I got to kill fish. Violet looked like she was having a good time. It's nice, not driving everywhere or running away. But the ranch was nice too, before the blood. This isn't the ranch. Do you like it? I like it, now that I'm used to it. There's games and the walls make it feel safe. It's good, for now. But places change, so do people. It might not stay good. Don't worry, we're not leaving. Clem. Yeah? You let that mean man go at the station. You let him take food from us. It wasn't right. I didn't like it. Don't be mad at me for saying that, though. No, say what you want to say, AJ. If we let people take from us, it makes us soft. So you're so tough, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Who's Mr. Softy now? <laughs> Stop! <laughs> That's what I thought. There, you gotta stay up two minutes more. Time for sleep. I'll lay down when you blow out the light. All right, give me a minute. There. That's a good drawing. He's a good artist. Your picture is good, too. Oh, I know. There. You have to water flowers. Not these. They're fake. So they never die? Never. Well, lucky flowers. But they're not as pretty. That's cool. I know, right? Like, really cool. So used to lugging this everywhere. Never knowing when we'd find any supplies. I feel a lot lighter. That one's cooler than the other. 
You think so? It's scarier. It makes it cooler. Good night, sleep tight, don't let a walker bite. And if they try, I never let them bite. Come on, play it right. One time, bang. <laughs> Good work, and thanks. There's voices in the pipes. I think someone's in trouble. Is it us? No, no, no. Not right now. But we should help them. If it's a monster, we should kill it. I don't think it is. You got your gun. Uh-huh. I'll be right back. Stay safe. You okay? They sound mad. Don't worry. I'll find out what's going on. I know. Quiet again. another entrance to the basement around here.
Broody. We don't even know for sure it was them. And he got away. How do we know he didn't follow them? You know he's not alone. Those bastards are back and it's only a matter of time before they find us. You know that- Oh shit! Nothing to you! What are you doing down here, in the dark? Brody and I were just talking. Go get some sleep. You deserve some shut-eye. You had a busy day. I was asleep. You guys woke me up. So Sorry about that. I, I didn't think anyone would hear us. You want to tell me what's going on? It's really none of your business. Go back to the dorm. Uh... The man you met at the station! We got history. Brody! Don't listen to her, Glenn. She's acting crazy. She gets this way sometimes. She's just got to tune it out. Don't be afraid, Brody. Say what you have to say. What history? Marlin let him take the twins. Him and his people. Brody! Ten sisters. I thought they were killed by walkers. That's the story we told everyone. Shut up! Because Marlin was so ashamed of what- Shut up! What'd you say? She... I'm sorry. Shit! What have you done? I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. You got me, okay? I, I promise. God damn it! Help! Told you not to say it. How? What can I do? Just, just stay with her. There's a first aid kit down here somewhere, right? First aid kit? Brody, it's me, Clem. Just, just stay still. Uh, who? Uh, I, I, I can't see. Clementine, remember? We talked about going to the beach. Swimming, driving along the coast. Son. Clem, you're in danger. You and AJ both. What danger? Marlon will kill me if I tell. He's scared. And when he's scared, he gets angry. I'll deal with Marlon. I promise you that. Yeah. Yeah, you will. You're strong. And he's not. If those raiders come back, said he'd let him take you. Take us? To make him go away. <laughs> like he did. <laughs> like he did with ten sisters. <laughs> Brody. <laughs> oh, fuck. No. What the hell am I gonna do? She's gonna turn. Marlin! Marlin, you son of a bitch! Don't do I'm this! I'm sorry. I can't, I can't let you talk to the others. really thin. I could force it in there and lift up the latch. I can't find anything in this dark. Yes, flashlight. That'll help.
This will work. isn't it? Shame, I don't believe in those. Think about how scared we all were when the adults left. I pulled us out of that fear. I gave us all courage again. Who are you all gonna believe, huh? Johnny come lately and her little fucking lunatic? Or me? Fred? She did help us get food. What good is food if a group of outsiders just gonna come along and take it? I'm just saying. Man, this is fucked up. You have to believe me. 
You don't! You met her like two days ago! I don't know you, Clem. Not really. I'm sorry. This isn't like you. I know you're not weak! Don't let her get in your head. Hey, what do you want you to do? She was my friend, too. So was Brody. Clem, I... <sighs> Shit. It will all feel safer once I pull this trigger. I know you know bullshit. You can smell it a mile away. And you're telling me you buy his story? Violet being difficult. Why am I not surprised? Put down the gun now. We're gonna do this the right way. Stand down, Mark. Be reasonable. You, you don't understand at all, do you? I'm trying to protect you! All of you! Every fucking one of you! How does pointing a loaded gun around protect anyone? Brody's dead. Sophie and Minerva are gone. <laughs> Suck at protection! Shut your fucking mouth! I made the right call! I saved the lives of everyone in this fucking school! If they came back, I'd do it again! Excuse me? I didn't realize we were so fucking expended! Your dick they told me they died! I had to save the rest of you, okay? You gave my sisters away! <laughs> Why would you do something like that? I trusted you, Marlin! They trusted you. He was in a tight spot. He did the wrong thing, but he thought it was for the right reason. It doesn't mean he shouldn't have to pay for it. I wanted to get them. States, some kind of rescue. Honest, Ted, I just couldn't. I was, I was too afraid. You killed Brody because she knew. <laughs> I didn't mean to. Want this? I want to just save all of you, Sophie, Minerva. We can still fix this, Marlin. It's going to be okay. We can make this right. We'll help you. We're all family here. The only one any of us has left. I know I betrayed you. All of you. Just let me leave. You'll never have to see me again. Just let me become a bad memory. Just give me that. Please. Fine. What? I aimed for the head. <laughs> <laughs> 